Two trains heading to Boston left the South Attleboro station for the first time in three years today. NBC 10's Allegra Zaymore is live at the station with what reopening the stop brings to the community. Big day out there, Allegra. Yeah, Barbara, well, people who used to rely on this train station tell me that this parking lot here would be absolutely packed before the pandemic. Now, only about a dozen or so people actually took the trains this morning, but the people I spoke to say they're excited to have it back. After three years of waiting, three trains picked up commuters in South Attleboro this morning and took them up to Boston. Instead of walking 45 minutes from Pontaket Central Fall to my house, now this is a 10 minutes walk. The station closed three years ago after structural deficiencies were found in the overpass that connected the tracks. That was demolished last year, and now everyone gets on and off on one platform. They switched tracks. That's the reason for the limited schedule. It's been a long process to get this station revitalized. Representative Jim Hawkins says he started working seven years ago to get this up and running, and this is only the beginning. It's for the region, so it, it integrates Massachusetts public transit. Rhode Island Public Transit, commuter rail, all at the same spot. Located right off 95 in the heart of several shopping areas, city leaders tell me plans are in place to develop housing in the area. We're part of the MBTA the Communities program, program, which is going to look at different bar. options for housing within, I believe, five miles of the train station. So there's a lot of possibilities. A 306-unit apartment complex is already in the works, about a mile and a half away on Newport Avenue. People who rely on the train tell me they moved to this area because of the train station. They're hoping over time, more times will be added to the schedule. If they would have that more frequently, you know, it would help a lot of people, even myself. Now, plans are still in place to try and put a few glass enclosed elevators here to get over the platform and to also help with those harsh and cold winter days. Representative Hawkins tells me that now that this train is back up and running, he wouldn't be surprised if that happens sooner rather than later. Live in South Attleboro, Allegra Zaymore, NBC 10 News.